All right. Hopefully you had a chance to. Hopefully you had a chance to read the question. Um, for this question, I'm going to define a random variable, calling it n. n is a discrete random variable because it represents the number of patients tested until a patient tests positive for more than one risk factor. If you're familiar a little bit with the kinds of uh, discrete distributions that are common, then you'll recognize that this is something like a geometric distribution. The reason is, is because I'm interested in the number of trials, the number of trials, the number of people I need to test until I have a success. Okay, where a success is at least one risk factor. So there are a couple different ways to define uh, a geometric random variable, but um, defining it to be the number of trials until the first success is one of those ways. So <clears throat> this somehow lies in that category, uh, although when we come up with the probability mass function, p sub n uh, of n, you'll see that this is not quite as straightforward uh, as other geometric distribution functions may look. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, I just have some information that we're given. We're given that the probability of risk factor is present in p. Also, uh, having a risk factor is independent of having one of the, of the three risk factors, right? So the way I like to approach a problem like this, so if we're looking for the, the mass function, is just start out with um, cases, essentially, right? What I mean here is that um, start out with when n is 1. In other words, well, first of all, actually, what's going on with n? n, what are the values n could be? n could be, so hence, I'll put hence here, hence 1 is less than n is less than 100. In the question, it's stated that we're trying, uh, we're, we're testing 100 patients, right? So there's no way that the number of patients could be greater than 100, and they have to be greater than 1, of course. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, I want to just um, experiment a little bit. Okay, so the first thing I'll look at is Pn of 1. So what is this actually asking here? This is saying, what's the probability that the very first patient I test has more than one risk factor. In other words, they have two or three, because there are three risk factors total. So, well, if they have more than uh, one, in other words, two or three, what's the probability that an individual, a patient, has exactly two risk factors? Okay, well, um, the probability risk factor is P. So let's say that they have uh, two risk factors. That means the probability of a risk factor, let's say they have it, then the probability is P, okay? They have two of the three, okay? So P for maybe the first, okay? P for the second, since they have two of them, but then they don't have the third. Since they don't have the third risk factor, it must be one minus P. But now how many ways um, can this happen? Maybe they have the first and second and not the third. Maybe they have the first and third and not the second. Or maybe they have the second and third and not the first. There are three ways. So you could write this as three choose one, uh, well, actually, you could say 3 choose 1 or 3 choose 2, which are both 3, or you could just go through and count and say, okay, this is the case. Okay, so this is a situation where um, I'm saying that this individual has exactly two of the three risk factors. Okay, well, if, if uh, n is 1, they either have two of the three or they have exactly three. If they have exactly three, that means they tested positive for all three risk factors. They tested positive for the first, tested positive for the second and it is a positive for the third. So in each case here, I'm saying and, which is why I have multiplication. So just to reiterate here, this expression here is saying they have two of the three. Two of three uh, risk factors. What is this one saying? This one's saying, right, because they either have two of three or, which is why I have addition, or they have all three. They have all three all three risk factors. Okay, so hopefully you can see why this makes sense. Okay, because um, I'm testing these patients until a person has either, uh, has more than one. So either two of three or all three. All right, that takes care of that situation there. <clears throat> How about if I look at P, N of two? So, 
again, what this is saying, the way you want, want to think about this is this is saying that what is the probability that I need to test two patients in order for this success to happen? In other words, what happens if, uh, if I want two of these uh, things to happen here, the first person must have had less than or equal to one of the risk factors. So think about this for again. Uh, the first person that I tested, they must have had at most one. In other words, they must have had not, they must have not had uh, more than one. So really, this is the probability of having more than one. If I want not more than one, I'm just gonna do one minus that. So one minus this quantity here. Three P squared, one minus P, uh, plus P cubed. So again, uh, make sure you see where this is coming from, okay? Because what is this saying here? This is saying that they did not have more than one. This is the first patient. The first patient I'm testing two. The first person must have not had more than one. Otherwise, it would have stopped there. So, uh, first patient. most one. At most one risk factor here. In other words, I'm really just taking the complement of of the original, uh, this probability here, the probability that n equals one. So this is the complement, one minus that. All right, the first person had at most one, but if I'm looking for the probability that we stopped at two, that means the second person had uh, at least one, or sorry, more than one, more than one. So what's the probability of more than one? Well, that's the situation right here. So of course, I'm running out of room, so it's pretty annoying, but this is gonna be the exact same expression right here. So this is going to be, right here, this is going to be three P squared times one minus P plus P cubed. So again, uh, right here, this is exactly uh, as before. This is the probability, this is the same as this one, but this is the probability that the second patient had um, more than one. So let's maybe do one more, and then hopefully we can see a pattern here. So the next thing on the list would be, what if I had to test three patients? What if I had to test three patients? In order to test three patients, that means the first two patients must have uh, had at most one risk factor. So PN3, the first person had at most one. Okay, well that's one minus the complement of having uh, more than one. So again, it's the same thing, one minus three P squared, one minus P, plus p cubed. So this takes care of the first person having uh, no more than one risk factor. The second person must have also had no more than one risk factor because I'm, I'm saying, what if it takes three, three patients in order for a success? So I'm going to multiply these because of independence. And this one's gonna be squared because the first and second person did uh, had, had at most one risk factor. So again, this is saying, first and second had at most one, right? Okay, times uh, multiplied to multiplied to the third person has more than one. So that's my success right there. So the third patient has more than one, which means again, they either had two, three choose, uh, three choose two times the probability of having two of the risk factors times they did not have the third uh, risk factor or any combination of those, plus they had all three risk factors. So this is what we're getting there. If you can imagine here, you can already sort of see a pattern hopefully, and you can do one more case. Look at uh, 
the probability that n is 4. If you leave one more case here, you'll, you'll recognize the power uh, that we have here. So notice, notice the first one you can think of as uh, this quantity being to the zeroth power. Okay, so I only have the success. This one here, notice uh, that when this n is 2, when n is 2, the power is 1. And when n is 3, the power is 2. And if you're familiar with the geometric um, distribution, you recognize uh, this is exactly the number of trials until uh, your first success. Uh, this power on the failure is always uh, one less. So I'm ready to write down uh, the density function, or sorry, the mass function, since this is uh, discrete. So now, I want to do it in general. That's what we're after. So I'm just going to say n is n. In other words, I'm looking for what I want, which is p n of n. If you just sort of think about this, uh, in terms of the pattern, this is saying the first n minus 1 patients had at most one risk factor. This quantity is at most 1. Okay, So the first n minus 1 patients had at most one risk factor, so 1 minus quantity 3p squared times 1 minus p plus p cubed. In order for me to test n patients, I had to have had n minus 1 patients with at most 1 risk factor. So to the n minus 1. First one had at most 1. Second one had at most 1. And it's and each time. So I multiply. Hence the, the power n minus 1. The last patient, the nth patient, had more than 1 risk factor. Probability of more than 1 risk factor means they either have, they either have 2, in which case it's 3 choose 1, uh, p squared times 1 minus p, times the probability they have all 3, which is plus p cubed, right? They either have 2 or they have 3. So uh, again, I mean, I can reiterate this. This is first n minus 1 have at most 1 risk factor. The nth person, the nth individual, has at least one, or uh, more than one. The nth person has more than one. This is my, this right here is my probability mass function. So this would be my answer. This is my answer right here. And as you can see, as you can see, this exactly follows a geometric distribution. It's just that my probability of success, which is here, is quite messed up. This is my probability of failure, but this looks very much like uh, the number of trials until the first success. All right, please like the video and comment below.